Hello everyone. I am senior teacher, a retired biology teacher from St. Joseph High School, Madhilagam in Trishur district. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Before the Sunset. Today, I am discussing about the topic, Why do we wear helmets while riding two-wheelers? Before watching the video, please subscribe, like and share my YouTube channel. The brain is the central part of the nervous system. It is protected inside the hard skull made up of 29 small bones. It is also covered by a three-layered meninges. The cerebrospinal fluid is filled in between the layers of meninges. It is formed from the blood and reabsorbed into the blood. It provides nutrients and oxygen to the tissues of the brain. Also, it regulates the pressure inside the brain and it protects the brain from injuries. So, the hard skull and the meninges protect the brain from external injuries. The largest part of brain is the cerebrum. It has two hemispheres. There are so many fissures and folds seen in the cerebrum. It is very important in our body. It is the center of thought, intelligence, memory and imagination. Also, it evokes sensations to control all the voluntary actions. What are voluntary actions? The actions, the movements according to our will are the voluntary actions but heartbeat, breathing etc are involuntary actions. Below the cerebrum the two folds it is cerebellum. This is the second largest part of our brain. It is seen behind the brain. It has also so many fissures and grooves. It coordinates the muscular activities and maintains equilibrium of the body. So, can you guess why the trunk guard has a dizzling movement? Because the brain of the trunk guard loses his ability to coordinate the muscular activities and maintain equilibrium of the body. And the rod shaped medulla, this is rod shaped medulla. It is behind the cerebel, cerebrum, behind the cerebrum, below the cerebellum. This road shaped medulla oblongata control involuntary actions like heartbeat and breathing. And below the cerebrum is the thalamus. It acts as the relay station of impulses to and from the cerebrum. It analyzes impulses from various parts of the body and sends important ones to the cerebrum. That is why we cannot hear the voices while we are sleeping. Below the thalamus, it is hypothalamus. It plays a major role in the maintenance of homeostasis. So, can you guess the importance of brain in our body? Each and every part of our brain is very important. It controls and coordinates all the life activities. Can you convince of the importance of brain? So please wear the helmets while riding to me. This video is dedicated especially to the 10 standard students who are studying in the Kerala syllabus. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you very much.